Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raquel Annette. If this is your first time ever seeing my face, yes girl, one of the top 24 contestants of Benefit Bra Search 2022. What a whirlwind. What an amazing opportunity. What just a compilation of amazing people that I was surrounded by y'all for four days. So I decided to do a poll on my Instagram. You guys asked some questions and I wanted to answer. However, the questions that I answered today are not limited. If you have any other personal questions, leave me a comment down below. I'm going to answer all of them, okay? All right, so before we jump into the makeup, I just want to let you guys know that this experience was not only humbling, it also, it was humbling, but it also gave me the hugest confidence burst. So if you didn't see my other video when I announced that I got in, I broke it down in tears. So it was like a full circle moment, like wow, all of this hard work, I find someone has been noticing it actually came this opportunity I've been working for so diligently for four years, I finally, finally reached that goal. So it was a very humbling experience and now coming out of it is like, yes, everything that you've been feeling about yourself, the path that you've been going down, what you've been working towards, it has been the right path, okay? This is what you're supposed to be doing. The sky is the limit. Keep going 100%. So that is what I learned um, and I'm just really ready to kick it up to the next notch, you guys. I really am ready to kick it up for the next notch. I've kind of been very silent here on YouTube because it was a lot to prepare for the contest. Not only mentally, but you know, getting my kids watched, uh, getting the outfits, and just like preparing mentally like, okay, this is really happening. I didn't know what to expect. I was nervous and excited, and I really just wanted to take April to celebrate my birthday because I know moving forward, I'm going to be very, very, very busy. So April essentially was like a month of rest. I'm probably not going to get one of those maybe until next year because I am, the fire is lit, okay? So with that being said, if you want to see the questions and what I had for answers, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in this. So the first new product I'm going to be using today is a hydrating lip balm with avocado butter and it's a plant-based squalane, so I think it's vegan friendly. And it says it's clear, but when I used it in Arizona, it kind of had a color, so we're gonna put it on. As you see what I'm saying, that's definitely not clear. That's definitely not clear. You can definitely see something on there. It is what it is. We're going to go ahead and spray our face with this Eau de Raisin. It is a grape water that soothes, moisturizes. Ugh. Just feels so good. So next we're going to go ahead and use, this is a super serum and it contains vitamin C and E. It's by Sephora Collection. You're supposed to apply this every day to a clean face and neck. So let's go ahead and apply it. My skin was super dry. Okay, well like it's already dry. As you guys know, like dry, kind of acne prone still. I did have a little bit of a breakout coming back. I really don't like this lip gloss or this lip hydrator. It looks like so ashy, right? Um, all right, so I'm just going to pull up my Instagram and I had some questions. First question, how does it feel to achieve this milestone in your life? It feels amazing. It feels absolutely amazing. It's like something I can preach on now. If you keep trying and continuously better yourself and know what a brand is looking for and if you just continue to continuously do better and focus on the goal tunnel vision and just really upgrade everything you're going to achieve your goals the point of it is is like i stuck to my guns i really have been entering ever since i moved to las vegas and i'm going to be using this dermalogica this is their bioluminescy gel moisturizer um, I've got some hyperpigmentation going on, so I need to start implementing some vitamin C back into my regimen. That really helps to neutralize the dark spots and even everything out. I did have a little bit of a breakout. I think I fell asleep in my makeup. We were partying, we were having a good time, and I fell asleep in my makeup. What can you do? I'm suffering for it now, but I don't regret it because I had an amazing time. So this is Benefit's Light Primer. This is their uh, newest primer to their primer family. I do like this. It has a cooling sensation. It's not, uh, even though it's blurring, it's not drying. So it's just really going to blur my pores and create a good barrier because like I said, I did have a small breakout coming back. All right, next question. Was there anything you would change about your experience? Yes, I would change the fact that I lost. 
<laughs> How about that? No. Abby, who is the winner, is very deserving. I do feel everyone in the top 24 was very unique, uh, very outgoing, had a story, and you know, it was anyone's game. It really, really was. That would be something that I changed, though. I would change um, bringing my Canon camera rather than bringing my small camera. I would bring more equipment on the trip. Um, when you're doing the challenges, they do require you to have like your heavy artillery. And like, I do have heavy artillery, I just didn't pack it. Um, half because I was like, I know I'm gonna be getting swag and I don't really wanna go over and have to pay more fees or anything for baggage so that's why I was like let me just leave my heavy, art my heavy artillery at home and that was a mistake of mine so going back if I could change something it would be to bring all my equipment then I could have brought my A game I could have been editing I could have been having the highest quality videos everything that's what I would change so I'm going to be using this BBB this is the one size I'm halfway through this if you are looking for a good foundation this summer go ahead and get this it's like a moussey formula, so it's not super mattifying, it's not super dewy. It's like a light mousse formula, it just carries perfectly. I use this the entire time in Arizona, which is always 10 degrees hotter than Vegas, and maybe she did not budge. So I'll be taking this Lunar Beauty, it's the LBF2 Rounded Foundation Brush. This is, I want to say, my second time using this. I absolutely love it. This blends like a dream. The ombre effect is beautiful. You can tell... Lunar Beauty nose brushes because this is beautiful. Yep, I definitely need a facial now. Sleeping in that, like, sleeping in your makeup can knock you back. It just can knock you back. Like, I was doing so well, my skin was perfect, and then I slept in my makeup. Next question! What did that pink margarita taste like? It tasted like heaven, so much so that I literally needed to recover. They were making those drinks with love, okay? I mean, absolute love. Like, I would look at them like, why are you doing this to me? These are so delicious. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. So I'm going to be using the Benefit Boing Concealer. This is in the shade 9. Next question. Who is your favorite judge? Who was my favorite judge? I wish I could give you an answer. I know this sounds really generic. I know this sounds very generic. I know it does, right? I know it before saying it. But I didn't have a favorite one. I like them all in their own ways. Really down to earth, nice people. So Manny, let's say, everyone's personality that's online is exactly how they are in real life. Karen is very vivacious, fun. We talked a little bit about business, which I liked, the business side of social media. Uh, Manny is just so nice and fun, very Aries. Um, and Chloe is just very, she had her baby and her um, mother-in-law and her husband there and she's very obsessed with that cute baby oh my god her baby's so cute and she's just really nice she was offering uh suggestions real life like a suggestion we we're kind of being mentored by them i love everyone in their own way and i literally cannot pick a, a person okay. i do love the fact that we didn't get particular teams this year because we got to get close with all of the judges they all follow me on instagram which they didn't have to do you know what i mean like they didn't have to do that um but clearly they did that because they got to connect with me and offer their life advice in this industry and got to see my passion and my drive. So that means a lot. In this chapstick stuff, I don't like, you see? It has that one line, like the white line, absolutely not. I'm going to be setting my face. This is the Cashew Powder by Fenty, I'm almost out. But the good news is I get to use my Ulta points actually to re-up y'all know that Fenty is at Ulta now right their reward programs the bomb like I have so many points that I, I just save all my points from Ulta so I'm gonna go ahead and re-up with some things that I need from Fenty and then I'm going to now I'm gonna set the rest of my face this is the Laura Mercier translucence powder in medium deep all right so I'm gonna be using an oldie but goodie this is the Amrezy palette this is the palette that I packed for the brow search it's just beautiful it like has the shades for anything that you need all right so next question Congratulations again, babes. What was your favorite moment during the bra search? Well, how do I don't know. What was my favorite part during the bra search? Let me think about that for a second, okay? Because, like, I loved being there every moment. I would say the... I would say the finale was, like, just 
my favorite part. Like I liked when we went to go do karaoke, everyone really opened up and bonded. That was freaking amazing. But I would have to say the finale because the dinner there was freaking amazing. Like their barbecue that they had there wasn't like really hitting a couple of times. Like a lot of the people I talked to didn't really like the food. Uh, but when it was the finale dinner, oh, it was so good. Everyone was in high spirits. It was fun. It was a great party. And it was like, when you seen the last scene of Greece, we go together like rum lum 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 ding a ding ding bum. Change, 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 bum. We'll always be like one, 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 one. That is the vibes, okay? That's what it felt like. We had come full circle. We came full circle. We all knew each other. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that translucence powder uh, from Fenty Beauty on my lid to set that. I don't really want anything on my lid. We're doing a very neutral, neutral look today. Yeah, I baked a little bit because it's hot outside and I have some errands to run and I don't want my face to be melting. Next, we're going to be using the brand new Extreme Precision Liner by Benefit Cosmetics. This is so ridiculously easy to use. It is just so fluid. You guys, if you're not good with eyeliner and you know like the Kat Von D liquid liner, sometimes it takes a little spit start, right? You don't need it with that. This comes out consistently on the first try. Now this is a new product that I got in swag. This is the Sephora Waterproof Ultimate Gel Liner and it's really good. It's super, super, super jet black. How did you plan your outfit? So up until like I would say a week before the brow search, you guys, they gave us the outline. So before that, it was like three weeks of me just kind of like compiling cowgirl outfits, like what would look cute. And then at the last minute, we got the actual set it was cool so we had a knee on cowgirl cowboy night we had a, um so the first uh, the first dinner was western boho vibes this is the outfit that i chose the second night was um either neon cowboy cowgirl or all black cowboy cowgirl and i chose all black because uh, I couldn't find anything neon out here that wasn't a dress and then the last night was denim bling bling but everybody else had already gotten their like outfit so I just did bling bling and um, I had a jean jacket but like it was hot so I didn't ever put it on but that is what I wore so we really had the guidelines I gave us a packing list and laid everything out it was so well organized I'm absolutely taken aback at the amount of time and planning and how everything was executed perfectly benefit knows what they're doing shout out to your whole team seriously so I'm going to be putting their Benefit Their Real Mascara on. This is where it all started. This is the first product that I ever, ever purchased of Benefit when I was working cash wrapped seasonally for Sephora. This still hits. This mascara still hits. All Benefit mascara still hit. I don't want y'all to think mas uh, Benefit is just brows. They have a lot of other th things, primers, mascaras tints, highlighters, everything. I finally got the Toasted by Benefit Cosmetics. This is the deepest one that they made. You just dip in there. This is the Lunar Beauty LBF4 brush, which is the perfect rounded, like, sculpting brush. I love it. So this is a new product by Bare Minerals. It's called a blonzer, which means it's a blush and a blonde and a blonzer and a bronzer combined. This is called a uh, Kiss of Rose that comes in three shades. I thought that they were absolutely beautiful. We're going to go ahead and show you. It's like a little shimmery and it just is supposed to work very well. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Lunar Beauty LBF3. Dip into that. See what she's giving. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Okay, it did emphasize a blemish, but like, isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Ooh, I'm gonna be using these all summer. That is beautiful. It is so pretty. It is so summery. I love it. So next, I'm gonna pick up this Micro Smooth Enchant Multitasking Baked Face Palette by Sephora, and I used the highlighter, and it is a little bit champagne-y, but I do think that since I, the bronzer has a little bit of a glow to it. Just putting a touch is going to 
just emphasize it a little bit. So not too much, but this is really pretty. So I'm gonna line my lips with the ColourPop. This is the BFF4 liner. And the next question, next question is who, uh, where did you get Jared Anthony from? Dude, I have no idea. Remember I was telling you about the, the best night? So the night before was a karaoke night that I was telling you about. Like that was super fun. Um, and I had a lot of those pink margaritas and shots actually. I just remember taking shot after shot after shot. Everyone was taking shot, 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 shots. And then they came at 7 something a.m. the next day. And my, I was, I heard something. So I was like, what the hell is that? Still kind of oblivious to me not being home, right? And I walk out and there they are with the uh, megaphone. All of a sudden he just starts asking me these questions. I'm just like, I don't know, I couldn't think straight for some reason. His screen name is literally J. Robert Bailey. Where the hell did I get Anthony? Where? Anthony just seems like a good middle name, I guess. I don't know. He was like, do I look like an Anthony? I was like, absolutely not. They made me line dance, y'all. It was funny. If you go to Brow Search, beware. They didn't do uh, wake up calls for everyone, but for some reason they came to my blocks. You may be getting woke up with some questions. All right, so before I take the next question, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off and take these Lunar Beauty Faux Mink Lashes. What style are these? I don't even know what style these are. Um, I will look on the... Oh my God, these are Aries, period. So I'm gonna hop off camera and put these Aries lashes on by Lunar Beauty. Uh, Period. Period. <laughs> and I will be back. This, I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty. This is called Mother Lover, y'all. Bomb. And then to tie it off, we're going to be using this brand new Lunar Beauty. It's their lip gloss. And it's in this shade, and it's in the shade Celine. It smells so good. It just smells like cake. I've used Lunar Beauty's lip glosses before, but this one is so glittery, so pretty, so pretty. Love it. Now of course we gotta finish it off with our 24 hour professional super setter. So yeah, this is the finished look. I wore this look basically every day besides when I had to go back and forth and create like a video for the second challenge. So I put some glitter on and stuff. But yeah, I really love all these products. I really do think that these, the Glow Serum really is a really good product. I can feel that shining through. I do like this. I'm probably going to be using this every single day and see if I have any kind of reaction or what happens. Lip gloss is beautiful. Aries lashes are perfect. They're the right amount of in your face, but not too much drama. They're like an everyday, nice, dramatic lash that can go from day to night. I do like these lashes. I'm going to be using these. The bronzer is beautiful. I absolutely love the bronzer. Girl, come on. Come through, Bare Minimals. It is beautiful. Not only is it a blush and a bronzer, it does have a sheen that gives you a perfect glow with or without highlighter. So, like, thumbs up to everything that I mentioned today. I do want to come on here and make a big announcement. If you did know, now you're going to know. I launched my first LLC. It is called RL Solutions. So this company is going to just just niche down and focus on beauty bloggers what you need to do to get into the business how to grow to the next step what all the knowledge that i've compiled over the years i have everyone always in my dm or sending me an email or just reaching out to me hey raquel how can i become an influencer and yes there are many many courses out there on how to build your brand and your business however all i've ever focused on was beauty and skincare and hair i know what you need to do i know how you can get your face out there and how you can get to that next step. So rather than just putting a YouTube video out there, I'm going to offer you a course and also one-on-one -on -one mentorship on how to get your brand to the next level. So that is going to be launching here at the end of May. Very excited about that. I really sat down and thought about like, hey, what can my business be? And yeah, I could have sold lashes. I could have created makeup. I could have done all that. But what I am passionate about is being 100% real 
and helping people and this is the best thing that I could think of because I do have real skill and expertise and to build on that you know getting to the benefit browse search all of my expertise have gotten me to the next level in my blogging and I didn't need 100k not to undermine anyone whose goal is to grow in numbers however if you have the if you know what you're doing you don't need the 100k and you could be even making more or as much as these beauty blockers so be on the lookout for that you guys leave me any questions that you have down below about brow search um with my business i'm going to be getting more so into how you can get yourself into brow search but if you have any questions particularly about the brow search that weren't answered in the this video leave me a comment I'm really excited to answer for you guys I was one of the ones on the other side just trying to kick my way try to kick through that door and get in I finally got in I can help you guys so please don't hesitate with leaving me a comment also head over to my Instagram I actually have three pages now so you're gonna like one of them one is particularly for makeup and skincare the other one is for lifestyle that's outfit of the days coffee recipes what I eat in a day exercising things of that such and my third one is my business page which is RL Solutions if you want to get started jump started in your blogging career which let's think about the future here the internet is not going away anytime soon a lot of jobs are being replaced with robots things of that such but what's never gonna go away YouTube people offering beauty advice brand trips I mean come on if you want to take that next level go ahead Follow me on RL Solutions so you can take, be notified every time I'm uploading and when we do actually launch. I do want to thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I do want to thank you for joining me on my journey. It has been a roller coaster, right? Um, I'm very excited for what the future holds. Having all this knowledge, having these new opportunities being presented to me, knowing the great team on Benefit, it just, it gives you a breath of fresh air. All the grinding is not in vain. I do want to let y'all know that all of the grinding is not in vain. And sometimes you just need a little bit of mentorship and someone who has been around and a little bit seasoned that maybe goes under the radar but still is getting their coin to help you further along your journey. So thank you guys again for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay around a while. I have a lot of new videos coming up for you. Okay? All right, bye guys.